So, how is everyone? I hope you are all well. Straight into the meat. The meat. The meat. Straight into the meat and potatoes. As we're talking about Jared Lysak. And everybody knows. Well, everyone should know. Who Jared Lysak is. He is the founding father of Adventures with Purpose, the team that has done some truly heroic things. We saw them find Kylie Rodney when no one else could, despite how many thousands of man-hours that police force put into the hunt, they just couldn't find her. And it took Adventures with Purpose just 30 minutes. Just shy of, in fact, I believe. But look, behind... Adventures with Purpose, there is this man. And this man has a past, like many people. And whereas some people's pasts are not shady, some people have skeletons in their closet. And Jared Lysak, it turns out, had a skeleton in his closet. And at the end of the day, look, this splits the room because some people will say, look, you can't judge a man by what he did as a boy. And some people will turn around and say it doesn't matter what he did as a boy because what he did as a boy was bad enough to have to reap the consequences of those actions. And look, innocent until proven guilty, but it does appear that he is indeed guilty. But look, it went to court and they were trying to get the case dismissed. They used the, the fact that the statute of limitations had run out, so on and so forth, and yada, yada, yada. And at the end of the day, the court bounced that out very, very swiftly and said, at the end of the day, you did it. And when this crime has been committed, which is to S.A., his, you know, his cousin, was it? You know, at the end of the day, he did it. That's in their eyes, and this crime is not covered in this. You need to. But there are caveats to that. And what they're saying is, look, what is likely to happen is that he will indeed go to court and he will face charges. And if he is indeed found guilty, it is likely that what they will do is they will impose a sentence that would have been imposed if he would have been found guilty as an adolescent. So he will be trialled as a juvenile. Let's wait and see how that splits the room. Because at the end of the day, look, he's going to get... There should be justice served. He's going to get punished if he is indeed found guilty. We know he's got money, he's got means, so he could swerve. But ultimately... If he is found guilty, and if indeed a sentence is imposed, that sentence, I repeat, could well and truly be handed down to him as if he was found guilty as a juvenile. How do you feel about that? Is justice justice? Are the sins of the boy bad enough for him to be trialled as a man and sentenced as a man? Has Jared Lysak done enough throughout his life, all the good things, to make up for what he did? To perhaps leverage that fact and say, look, he has done well as a man. He has done some good things as a man. So yes, maybe it's fair to be trialled as the boy he was when this crime was allegedly committed. I want to hear your thoughts. Let me know. And I'll catch you all in the next one.